Are you always worried about how people judge you? How are you gonna be perceived? Oh my God, are they gonna like me? Am I this enough? Am I not that enough? Oh my God, I spent so many years worrying about what people thought about me. That's the worst feeling in the world. Does anybody pay your bills? No. Does anybody truly care? Like really, really care? Yeah, maybe a few, but not that many. So why should you stress about what others think of you? In today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna dive deep onto how to stop caring about anybody else, their thoughts, their judgment, because life's too short and you have to always keep it caliente and rock it out. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. I'll never forget when I was so young, I always used to see everybody in school, especially even my dad. My dad was one of the most negative Nancys ever. No offense if your name is Nancy, but for real though, always being judged my father would take me to school and be like look at that kid look at that kid oh why can't you be skinny like him why can't you be an awesome baseball player like him always comparing and then not, forget about my dad let's talk about being in school whether it's preschool middle school high school the kids kids can be bullies and you know that and i got bullied for so many years of my life oh my god you're fat it's basically they're looking at you like you're an alien right I don't know if you've ever dealt with bullying in any way, shape, or form, but it sucks. And fast forward, as we get older, we start realizing that those bullies, right? And at the time when we're young, we don't really know why are people bullies? Comes down to this, insecurity. When people are super insecure, they got to bring you down to lift themselves up. That, my friends, is something that I wish I would have known when I was super young. Matter of fact, even till I was, Jesus, probably like 30 years old, and I'm 40 now, I then realized that why am I worrying about people? What people really think about me? Nobody, nobody, unless it's a really close friend or a close family member, and even family members can bring you down like my dad did with me, are gonna really be there and really want you to do better. You know, I remember a coach of mine a few years ago, he told me, Everybody wants you to do good. Well, most, but nobody ever, ever wants you to do better than them. And that's a fact, right? That's just a pure fact. So some ways that you need to, on a daily basis, recognize your worth is by just saying it to yourself, meaning it, meaning it and owning it, saying, I am awesome, I am beautiful, I am a badass. You really can't sit and dwell about, oh my God, it doesn't matter if it's, you're gonna go hang out with friends, you're going to a grocery store, you're going to a job interview, whatever you're facing, fuel yourself with that fear that you have inside. Let that power that you have of the fear and turn it into being fearless. At the end of the day, you can live your life being fearful or being the victor. Victor being the champion, going full throttle. Because look, you ever seen those people, and I've said this in past episodes, they may not be in the best physical shape or they may have a lot of things going on with them, but they're super, and I mean super confident. And you're like, damn, how are they wearing that? Well, how are they talking like this? Why are they so awesome? You know why? Because they believe. They believe in themselves. And once you believe in you, 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 there's only one of you, everything changes. That is the true game changer. You know, and I had a question, I think it was yesterday, the day before on Instagram by somebody 
they said, hey, you know, you're always talking about mindset. How do you change your mindset, right? And I repeat this all the time, and I don't care if you get annoyed with all the times I say this, but working on you is the best project, meaning every day, if you're not meditating, right? Yes, not just any meditations, your favorite ones, including mine, that you can find on the podcast and the YouTube show, and doing them daily, set a schedule, journal, write down how you're feeling, write down the good and the bad. Hey, if you're feeling shitty, write down shitty. If you're feeling good, write down good. Why? Because you need to amplify the things that you're doing good at and own it and become the best at it. Doesn't matter if it's within yourself, your body, your career, just own it. You have to be your own cheerleader. Look, I may work with people on a one-on-one basis as a life wellness relationship and branding coach on the phone and Zoom, right? And if you've never gotten into any of my private one-on-one coaching, the link is right here and on the description, right? I need you to zone in. If you're saying, I don't know how to do this, or you may be, it's kind of like when people say, oh, you know, you want to lose weight, get on a diet, right? And work out. But most people they'll say, okay, I'll eat healthy, but I, you know, I don't really know what is healthy. Or they think, oh, well, fruits are healthy, grains are healthy, and that's healthy, but they're still not in the best shape. They are not, and they're just not in good shape, right? Mentally, emotionally, physically. And sometimes we need that support, right? But if you are one of those that you're a quick, quick, and I mean savvy, smart cookie, and you know what's up by me telling you this and you hearing this right now, I want you to make a pact with yourself right here, right now, that you are A, not gonna worry about what anybody thinks about you, right, in any way, shape, or form, and B, stick to the routine of loving yourself, knowing your value, and just rock it out daily. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Sing it with me, dance with me. If you gotta do the Lombada dance, do the Lombada dance. Me da igual, porque si bailas conmigo, Yo bailo contigo también, right? If that means if you dance with me, I'm going to dance with you too. This is it. This is all for today. Please leave me. Drop me a comment. Take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all of it. I want you to tell me if this is lifting you up. Most people are just posting stuff to post or, or this and that. I'm telling you how to be better not in just one area of your life, but in all of them. I know you got this. Spread love. Show love to get love and get love to show love. Stay inspired. Keep it caliente. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, drop a comment, and share this with your friends. I'll see you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.